Hello there, Mark Cunningham here. And in this video, we're going to take a look at a few functions you can use in Google Sheets to find out the information of your cells, including whether there are any errors in your cells. So I've just got some exercises set up on this worksheet here that we're going to use to learn about the functions. And just so you know, if you do want to use the menu, all of the formulas are found here in the info submenu. So I'm just going to start off with the cell menu at the top. So I'll just type in cell. And for this one, what we do here is we can return some specific information about the cell that we refer to. So there's an info type and then a reference. So I'm just going to do a couple of the more common info types. And one of them is row. So I'll just type in row in inverted commas. And then I will refer to the cell over here with hello written in it. Close the brackets and enter. So that's telling us that that particular cell is in row four. So we can check that obviously because the rows are numbered over here and it is in cell four. So if you use row in there, that will tell you the row number of the cell that you refer to. So that's one of the uh, things you can use it for. I'll also use it for column. So I'll just type that in. So what I've done there is just type in the formula for us. So we've got equal cell. And to find out the column, you just need to type in col instead of the whole word column. And then just put in the cell reference, which is D4 again. So I'll just hit enter. And that's telling us that that is in column four. So columns, as we know, are identified by letters, but it's just giving us um, the reference in terms of numbers. So column one, two, three, four. So that's that one. The other thing we can do is we can find out the actual cell address. So I'll just show you that one. And you do that by typing in the cell formula and you say address, and then you reference the cell. And that's telling us there that we have reference cell D4. So it just returns the absolute reference there, just in case you need to use that. So that's three of the more common ways that you can use the cell formula. There's a few other ways as well, but they're quite uncommon, so we won't go through those. The next one down is a function called is blank. So we'll just start that one off. And what that does is, like it says here, it checks whether the referenced cell is empty. So all we need to do is put a cell reference in here. So I'll just put D15 as the cell reference. And because that cell actually doesn't have any data in it, it is true that the cell is blank and that's why it's saying true. So we'll do one that refers to this cell here with hello in it, like so. And because that particular cell there, cell D16 that we've referred to has got data in it, it's telling us that it's false. So that's a function you can use to give you a true or false result as to whether a cell is blank or not. So that's it for the is blank. I'm gonna move down now to is er, and I've just put a little bit of extra information in here because we need to use it to see how this function works. So I'll just start you off with the function. And when we've got that in there, it's telling us that it's going to check to see whether a cell has an error in it other than an NA. So we'll just refer to this blank cell first. And that's coming up saying false because it is trying to find an error and there's not even an error in there at all. So that's coming up as false. So now we'll have a look on the next line where we've got an error in there in, and it's a, it's a div zero error because if I mouse over there, you can see that I'm just trying to divide a number by zero. So it's giving us that particular error. So we'll, we'll type our is a function into there and refer to the cell, close it off. And now it's saying true because it is checking whether a value is an error, which is true, other than an NA, which is also true. So that's why it's giving us true. So now we'll have a look at what it does when it refers to a cell that's got an NA error. And we'll just refer to that one. And that's saying false now because yes, it is finding an error as the value in the cell but it is actually finding an NA. So it's not something other than an NA. So that's coming up as false. So that's a function you can use to check whether there's an error that is not an NA error. 
So the next one down here is is error, and I'll just start that one off. And this one is saying it's just checking whether there's any kind of error. So if we refer to this blank cell, as you've probably guessed, that's going to come up and say false. And then in the next cell down, we'll do it again. And this time we'll refer to this cell that actually has an error. And it's saying true. So it's looking for any kind of error though, even though that's actually an error called error and it's coming up as true. It could be an NA, it could be a div zero, or it could be any other kind of error. And that would come up saying true. So there's just a couple of functions for you that you can use to find out some information about cells and to find out whether there are errors or whether they're blank.